Welcome to this week's lecture for Composing with Sound entitled New Interfaces for Musical Expression. In this lecture we will discuss alternatives to keyboard interfaces that might suggest ideas for your final project. The 500 year old keyboard interface presents a limitation to the expressive performance of electronic music. As the example of the theremin shows, instrument builders have been developing performance interface alternatives since the dawn of electronic music. The theremin developed in around 1928 by the Russian instrument builder Leon Theremin is a field sensing device that captures the proximity of the hands to two aerials. One hand controls the pitch of a heterodyning oscillator while the other controls loudness. The following video produced by Big Briar shows the theremin performed by Clara Rockmore. Another early performance interface is the Onde Martineau, developed also around 1928 by the French instrument builder Maurice Martineau. This thermionic valve based electronic instrument augments the conventional keyboard with a continuous pitch slide ring, an amplitude control lever and controls for modifying the electronic timbre. The sound from specially designed loudspeakers is augmented by mechanical resonators to create reverberation effects. This video produced for Sonic Couture shows Thomas Bloch improvising on the Onde Martineau.
One important development since the advent of computers, and specifically the Max musical programming environment, is the concept of hyperinstruments, a term coined in the 1990s by MIT lab researcher and composer Todd McIver. Like the Onde Martino, hyperinstruments take an existing interface and augment them with the addition of sensors or controls. The next three video examples show augmented violins. The first video by performer Mari Kimura shows a hand-worn accessory for the bow hand that contains a three-axis accelerometer capable of measuring the angle of the hand and the rate at which it is moved. The EarCam MUBU gesture recognition objects are used to identify certain changes in the movement of the bow hand and to trigger various kinds of real-time signal processing of the violin signal. You can find the MUBU object's package in the Package Manager in Max. Sensors have been around for a long time, but I uh, decided to use this one in particular, which is uh, developed at EARCOM in Paris. This is a system that really honors the craft artistry of a traditional performer. Instead of having a violinist step on things or try to trigger something with a remote or do some extra movements to try to make something, which is completely unmusical and unnecessary, here come a system, this uh, augmented violin is called Simply Analyze What You're Doing. So you can just play as you wish, or you, as you do, and the computer will say, um, oh, no, she's, she's done the, the pizzicato. This is a pizzicato motion. I don't have to do anything extra, because that's what I do. But then the machine is looking at the, um, uh, the gesture. So I'm completely free. I sometimes w I'll forget that I'm wearing it and go do the dishes or something. This is a circuit board and the uh, battery. It, it, this is wireless. It's talking to a receiver here, sort of the Ethernet connected to the computer. So I'm completely free, right? But before that, there, it, there was a umbilical cord that went from this to that because the sensor portion was uh, attached to here. So the beauty about this earcom system is that um, it analyzes your movement as is. So humans are allowed to still be humans but then you're actually interacting with a machine. So machines, oh, she is walking, or you know, she's playing a pizzicato. And so that's, that's the really musical way of interacting with a computer. If there's no sound, I'm not playing. So if I'm doing this, the computer can go, aha, she's sustaining. But I'm not, I'm just moving my hand from left to right. And that's not good. So I say, um, if you hear something, a sound, and then if my sound, uh, my hand is moving steadily, then say that means I'm sustaining my violin sound. Once I'm steady, stops bending notes. A second video shows Kimura performing with Eric Singer's Guitar Bot, an example of a musical robot. This is another area for exploration opened up by Max that we will not be exploring in detail in this subject. Thank you. 
Another example of a hyper violin is shown in this video of German composer Alexander Schubert's Weapon of Choice from 2009, performed by Barbara Luneberg. Once again, this work demonstrates signal processing in a max patch that modifies the sound picked up from a microphone. In addition, this work shows real-time video processing in jitter. <laughs> The advent of low-cost microcontroller boards for hobbyists, such as the Arduino and Raspberry Pi, have opened up the possibility of developing musical interfaces by ordinary musicians. The DIY interface called the Sponge, shown in the next video, was developed by Canadian musician Martin Maria. In addition to the three-axis accelerometer used in the violin interfaces, the Sponge uses force-sensitive resistors to measure the amount of squeeze applied to the sponge. This data is wirelessly connected to Max running a sound synthesis patch.
Video tracking as an interactive interface was first developed by David Rokeby and his very nervous system in the late 1980s and 1990s. Video tracking is used to capture human movement for animation, but it is also used in game systems by Nintendo and Microsoft. Here is an example from a dance work by Australian composer Chris Vick that utilises the Microsoft Kinect camera. This system uses a technique called structured light to build a model of the human body in front of it. However, simple video tracking can be realised using basic jitter objects in Macs and a webcam. Several commercial interfaces that utilise extended control have been developed in recent years. The Roly Seaboard exploits MIDI Polyphonic Expression, or MPE. MPE extends the idea of aftertouch and polyphonic key pressure that was built into the original MIDI interface and extends it to allow polyphonic control of parameters such as pitch bend or other continuous controllers. Key pressure and key position are also both controllable.
The Eigenharp takes the original MIDI wind controller concept and extends it with pressure-sensitive keys. This is the Eigenharp Pico, and it has a unique sensor design for the finger, very sensitive to one micron, which is the width of a human cell. Touch 3D technology works in three ways. First, we have pressure and sensitivity. Second, up and down motion. And third, side to side. Here, the key cross phase between two sounds. When playing a chord, each note can be articulated <coughs> separately. In this instance, two notes are going in opposite directions, which is impossible on a keyboard. And the strip controller can be used to to control a wide variety of parameters, as can the breath pipe. The Roland GT3 hexaphonic guitar pickup and the GR55 and VG99 guitar synths augment the electric guitar with MIDI pitch tracking and virtual modelling synthesis. The simplest place to get started with alternative interfaces is with the HI, Human Interface Device Object, in Max. This object can be used to capture USB and Bluetooth interface devices, such as game controllers. Watch the Getting Started with HID video to explore this method of controlling Max. That concludes this part of the lecture. Thanks for watching.